What is going on guys, Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable and disable offload unused apps. Now what offload unused apps does is it generally basically will delete the app from your screen. You'll still see a little icon on your screen, but it keeps the, you know, the data for it so that when you re-enable it, it'll automatically be, be back to normal. So let me show you how it works. So go into settings and there's two ways to get it into it from uh, settings. Um, the first way is to go into general. Then what you wanna do is go to iPhone storage. And from here, if you want the iPhone to automatically control it, offload, offload unused apps, you can just hit enable and the iPhone will automatically do that for you. But I would personally recommend you to not allow the iPhone to do this for you because if you're in the middle of nowhere where you have a bad connection or you have no internet at all, you're not gonna be able to use that app. It's a scary bad thing. So I would have you do this on a case by case basis. So if we do do that, for instance, we'll choose an app here. Let's go to, let's go into the Yelp app. So I'm gonna choose my Yelp app. Now I can delete the app, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna do offload app. And you can see this will free up storage used by the app, but keep its documents and data. Reinstalling the app will place back your data if the app is still available in the app store. So I'm gonna hit offload app. And it tells me, do I wanna do this? Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna hit offload app. Now when it does that, you can see it, I saved all that storage and I'm gonna go back to my home screen. So if I look at it from here, if I go into, cause I had it in my social app, social, you can see there's a little cloud icon next to it. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to get everything back from that app. But again, you have to download it, meaning you have to have either Wi-Fi or you know, 3G or 4G or 5G LTE data in order to get it back for you. So you just tap it and it never leaves. That's the cool thing about offloading it is that it stays on your home screen in the same place it's at and you just tap it to get it back to what it was before. So it's a cool feature and it can save you some space in a pinch. But again, I would not have the iPhone do it. Now let's go back into settings because maybe let's go back here. Maybe you set this so that in iPhone storage, maybe you set it so that offload unused apps is controlled by the iPhone and it, iPhone just is, is just randomly doing this for you. And you're like, man, I need this app and it's being a pain in the butt. If you want to disable it, it tells you right here to go to iTunes and App Store. So where that is, is go back to the main screen of settings and go into iTunes and App Store. Tap that. Then what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom and you're going to see offload unused apps. There's a toggle right here to turn it on and off. And that's it. It'll stop managing it for you automatically when it's off. I would recommend you manually doing it yourself like I showed you in the beginning of the video. And if you want to turn it on and off, you can also, again, just come right to this spot right here to t if you want iPhone to do it for you. That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.